Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you've been enjoying some of the videos that I've been posting. Um, tonight we're going to do a reading stories of the Bible for the kids and adults as well if they want to watch it. And we're going to be reading four different stories of the Bible and then we'll be reading some miracles of the Bible. I hope you enjoy these. Baby Moses when Moses was born, his mother knew her son was in danger. The Pharaoh did not like the Israelites. She hid her baby. She wove a basket, placed him in it, and set it among the reeds along the Nile. She asked her daughter Miriam to watch after him. Soon the Pharaoh's daughter found the basket. Imagine her surprise when she saw a tiny baby inside. Miriam came out from hiding and asked if the princess wanted a nursemaid. The princess said, yes, go. Miriam returned to her mother who taught the child many things. Later, the princess adopted the boy so he could grow up without want. She named him Moses, which means drawn out of the water. The tiny bird baby hidden in the reeds would one day save the people of Israel. Abraham and Sarah Abraham and his wife Sarah trusted God. God had told Abraham that one day he would have as many children and grandchildren as stars in the sky, but it had been many years and he still hadn't. One day God told Abraham he and Sarah must, ha must move to Canaan. They packed up and traveled to their new land. When they arrived, they set up camp. Soon three visitors came by. One of them told Abraham that Sarah would give, soon give birth to a baby boy. Abraham could not believe his ears. Sarah laughed to herself. She was over 90 years old. When the visitor heard Sarah laugh from inside the tent, he said, Why did Sarah laugh? The Lord can do anything. A year later, a baby was born. They named him Isaac, which means laughter. Joshua and the Great Wall God had an important job for Joshua. He wanted him to lead the people to the promised land. Jesus knew they had to go through Joshua knew they had to go through Jericho, which had a high wall all the way around it. On their way, an angel told Joshua that his army should march around the walled city once each day for six days. On the seventh day, the army should circle the city seven times. Then everyone should blow their horns and shout. Joshua and his army did as the angel said. On the seventh day, after circling Jericho several, seven times, everyone blew their horns as hard as they could and shouted loudly. Stone by stone, the walls crumbled and crushed to the ground. God helped the people so they could enter the promised land. Joseph and the Coat Joseph was the favorite of his father's twelve sons. The father gave him a coat of many colors. His brothers were jealous. They threw jo Joseph into a well and then sold him into slavery. Joseph lived in a prison in Egypt, but God had not forgotten him. God helped him understand people's dreams. Soon the Pharaoh heard of Joseph and told him about a dream about seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. Joseph said it meant Egypt would have seven years of good crops followed by seven years of famine. He told the Pharaoh to collect all the grain in the next seven years so his people could, would not starve later. The Pharaoh did as Joseph said, and when the famine came seven years later, Egypt had plenty to eat. The next one is Miracles of the Bible. Jesus Heals the Blind Man Once Jesus saw a blind man begging for food, Jesus rubbed mud on the man's eyes. He told the man to wash the mud off. The man did as he was told. When he opened his eyes, he could see. People did not believe his story. They took him to the temple. 
The men at the temple did not believe him either. The man's parents told the men that their son had been born blind out blind but now could see. The men said that only God could work miracles. They threw the man out. Later Jesus asked the beggar if he believed that God's son had healed him. The man said, I don't know who that is. Jesus said, it is I. The man said, yes, I believe in you. Jesus wants us to know that he is the son of God. Jesus walks on water. One windy night when the disciples were at sea, their boat was tossing in the waves. They looked out and saw Jesus right on top of the water. They were frightened. They thought he was a ghost. But Jesus told him them not to be afraid. Peter called out to him and said, Lord, if it is you, ask me to come out and you on the, with you on the water. Jesus said, Come. Peter stepped off the boat into the sea and took a few steps. He was walking on water too. Then he got scared and sank. He yelled, Lord, save me. Jesus reached out his hand and said, Ye of little faith, did you doubt? Jesus wants us to always trust him, even when it is hard. Jesus feeds the 5,000. One day Jesus went into the desert to pray. Many people went to see him there. Jesus saw all the people and he felt sad for them. He comforted them and healed the sick. When evening came, the disciples told Jesus that they had no food for the hungry crowd and they should be sent away. Jesus told them to let the people stay and to feed them. The disciples said, we only have five loaves of bread and two fishes. Jesus asked everyone to sit down. Then he took the bread and fish and thanked God for it. When he heard, handed the food out to each person, there was enough to feed everyone. There were even leftovers. The story tells us that Jesus can perform miracles on each of our lives the first disciples one day jesus saw two boats at the water's edge he boarded one where he met peter jesus preached to peter and the others then he told peter to go fish again peter was surprised they had fished all night and had not caught anything but he obeyed jesus when the men lifted the nets they were so heavy with fish it nearly broke them Peter said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. Jesus said, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will bring me people instead of fish. Jesus wanted Peter to spread Jesus' teachings. Peter and the others became disciples that day and followed Jesus. Jesus wants all of us to be his followers and to tell others about him. That's all for today. That's all or tonight. That's all I'm going to read. Um, if there's some story that you would like for me to read, I do have a lot of books here of Bible stories that I'm going to be reading, and I don't mind at all if you post comments and let me know what you're wanting to read, want me to read, and I hope you have a blessed night. Good night, and thank you.